YouTube, this is VidHead85. Can we talk for a minute? Okay, I decided to do a response video to a, um, what is it, X drop the ball, or um, X downgrade, or something like that. It was by, um, it was in an LGBT YouTube uh, group that I decided um, that we, or that I decided that would be a perfect thing for me to do, um, simply because I know a little bit about what, what who, like, who my ex is dating, and I know very little, little about their relationship, but um, from some things that I've been, like, hearing a little bit, um, he is, that is a definite downgrade from Zemmoi. Mm -hmm. Now, like, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm a perfect boyfriend, but, you know, I was damn near close, okay? And, you know, um, I did whatever I could to make sure that he was happy, and yet when I was really crazy about not spending time with him, um, he just, he was spending time that he was supposed to be spending with me, with this other girl, who rejected him because she, he slept with men. So anyway, like, you know, for me, it was though, it was simply that, like, I don't want to go into too much because, like, I just, I just hear that there is a lot of conflict in that relationship because, um, because, well, she lives with him, he wants her, he wants her out, there's a couple of things she's trying to do, there's a few things that he's doing, um, and it's just, uh, gone to shit. And the thing is, for me, though, like, I told him I feel vindicated, well, I never told him that, but I feel vindicated because of the fact that I told him, even if you're going to date women again, you're still the same fucked up person. And when you have a fucked up person trying to ch do something differently and they haven't changed, they haven't become less selfish, they haven't become less, um, like, they just, he would get to the point where it was simply like where I was an idiot because I didn't agree with him. And, you know, um, he was just always hasty to, he was always right he was always, um, like, there was nothing that he could do wrong. Like, when it, when I would get angry or overreact, that would be, like, the worst thing. But when he would overreact, then he was being, he had a valid reason to overreact. Um, when he would do something, it would be, oh, I have a valid reason. But when I would do the very same thing under the very same circumstances, I would be overreacting. I would be too emotional. Um, and... I want, um, the, the thing was for me, the reason that I will, will upgrade is because one, yes, I am a fucked up person. Of course we all are, but I'm not as fucked up as my ex. Okay. I will have somebody who will want to go places with me, who will want to be introduced to other people. Um, because I want to show my guy off. Okay. I want to show him off to everybody, you know, and I don't date easily. Okay, I might, like, and even then, I don't choose my fuck buddies pretty, like, liberally either. Like, I've had some or whatever, but it's like, I don't usually, you know, um, even my fuck buddies have been a huge upgrade, okay? Which is crazy, but true. Um, because they all know, one, they're gay, and two, that it, it's just sex. And the thing would be, like, whenever I would initiate sex, he would be saying that it was too too often. And then when he would initiate, it would be, like, I'm not doing it enough or whatever. I'm, I'm not initiating enough, and then I'm initiating too much. He was just, first of all, this guy was a Libra, is a Libra. And it would just be, like, just, he was the most unbalanced Libra. Like, if I were to to make a movie title, it would be Unbalanced Scales. Life with an unbalanced Libra, or maybe dishonest scales, life with an unbalanced Libra. So basically, even with my fuck buddies, I have upgraded highly because at least, one, it's all about sex, and two, when I do have a relationship, I know what I want. I know what I want because I want somebody who's not drug addicted, who's not a Libra, who's going to want to go with me places, who's who doesn't mind, who won't be dope sick all the time, and constantly angry. I want a guy who's going to work out. Period. Died in the story. That's non-negotiable. 
if my next guy doesn't work out, I'm sorry because I can't. We can't go in two different directions. Like he's got to work out at least five times a week, like I do. So I think that maybe maybe the next guy I meet might be a, might be a gym guy, which would be awesome because we both could use one. I could use someone who has an active lifestyle as well. So did you upgrade? Because even being single, okay, like even at the bare bones bottom line, okay, even when I'm choking my chicken, it is a big upgrade because I don't have to deal with the foolishness behind him. I don't have to deal with you're initiating too little, you're initiating too much, or, um, you know, um, or, you know, I don't have to, to deal with bullshit of, you know, having to sleep out on a couch when in fact his sister's boyfriend sleeps in, in the same, they sleep in the same bed. Yeah, I'm not doing that. First, if it's been like two, three, four years and we haven't moved in, it's time to end it. I'm sorry. I'm not having that. Like, that's another thing that if, it, if it's been at least like two, three years and we haven't at least like talked about it, I'm done. We're not, we're not going any further. So, um, thank you for letting me, or actually, um, what do you think? Have you upgraded? Have you felt like you've been the one that downgraded? Um, let me know your thoughts, YouTube. Thanks for letting me talk to you.